In today's video, I'm gonna show you three plans for a tiny home, 1,000 square feet to work with or less for a family of six. If you've been following our videos this last week, then you know there's been some big changes to our plans. We are moving homesteads to a homestead in Pennsylvania. We're moving to a much bigger house than the one we're currently living in. However, for about six months, my family is going to have to live in a tiny home. We have a thousand square feet to work with up above a garage. And so for the last couple days, I have been putting together three designs. Now, before you leave this video because your tiny home is smaller, hold the phone. Two of these plans have a giant studio space, which I'm going to be using in the future that can be just deleted from the plan. So if you have a tiny home about half the size, you can still use these designs and these layouts. I have three here to look at. I suggest anytime you're planning a space, whether it's a tiny home or a farm or a homestead, whatever you're planning, always design something at least three different times because with that different designing, you'll come up with better ideas. And honestly, my favorite design was not the first design that we came up with. Uh, I wanna know today what your favorite is. Let's jump in. This is option A. You'll notice the layout of option A. You walk into a bit of a foyer area. There's the bathroom to your left, a big closet slash pantry to the right. Then you have the kitchen with an eat at island. Most of these plans feature an eat at island where there will also be a cooktop because another use for this space for us will be filming homestead cooking videos in the future. Through the kitchen into the living room area where you can sit, watch television, the couch will flip out into a bed for guests when this is just a guest space. And when me and my family are living there, we'll still maybe have the flip up bed if the kids wanna use it, uh, but otherwise we'll be using the studio space in the back for the bedroom. Then we have the little office area, which has a window viewer into the studio space and a big closet to store audio video gear. When we are living in this plan, we will use the big studio space as a bedroom and this office space as just a little area for the kids. Let's take the 3D walkthrough. Here we have option A, we come through the front doors, you have the coat hanging area, closet, to your right, the bathroom to the left, there's a full bathroom. You come into the kitchen with the eat at island. You'll notice there's no cooktop in this version, but there will be in the finished version. Then we walk into the living room area. There's the couch, the coffee table, another love seat, television, and of course you can flip that couch out, slide the table out of the way, and you have a bed. And that would be the entire guest space. But for us living there, we would also have this little area here for kids to play, and then this room would become a bedroom. However, six months from now, that will be a studio, audio video studio. And you'll see a better idea of what the audio video studio will look like in option B. I'll show you that in just a minute. There's option A. Let's go to option B. Option B is a little bit different from the top-down view. You'll notice the layout. You walk into the living room. It's a bit more open. You have a same closet slash pantry to your right. However, this one is bigger and there's a space for the closet, shoes, coats, but then on the other side, closer to the kitchen, you can use it as a pantry. The television is hanging right there, so any cable boxes, wires, cords could be hidden in the closet. I always like that, look sharp. Same eat at island, kitchen. Cooktop would be at the Eden Island for filming homestead cooking videos. It's always easier to film on an island than in a stove in the back. Then we have the bathroom. Notice that the bathroom and the kitchen are bumped close together. That makes it easier for plumbing, a little bit cheaper in the long run. Then we have a nice large office slash editing space and storage area for audio video equipment. And then the studio. We come in the front doors. You notice this one when you walk through, it's a little bit more open. There's not walls on both sides. We got the living room space, television. You can sit, watch, enjoy, you know, relaxing. Then you have your little kitchenette with the eat-in area. If I'm filming, I'd be filming from this angle here so I can see the whole kitchen in the camera. I have plenty of room to work with. Good layout for filming a homestead kitchen for future homestead cooking videos like that one where the girls made really delicious uh, French macarons. Awesome. We walk back on the first door there would be the bathroom. And then for guests, that would be it. That would be the total guest space. I have a nice large editing room where I can work editing audio and video. 
and I can conduct from this room what's happening in the bigger room through the big look through window. You'll notice in this version we have a better idea of what the studio will be. Let's go in. The studio has a workbench with some lighting up above it. That's for top down videos if I'm working with tools or doing an unboxing or just showing whatever. Uh, but then we have the desk area. I have it designed very similar to this space. You got the wood paneling in the background, some deer heads or some big fish on the wall, maybe some instruments. I got my desk. I can sit and do a, a talking video. We could have a live podcast from this. Live streaming would be great from this space. And you'll notice the giant garage door. That is already in the building. Really nice for using in a studio space. If I have a client with a big product that they wanna bring into the studio to film, I can bring it right through that garage door. That is awesome. So that's the studio space. Now, if you wanna imagine this when we're living there, I have a version of this. When we're living there for the next six months, you'll notice that big office area is now just a big kid's room. And then the big studio is the bedroom slash desk and office. And if we take a look at the 3D plan, nice large bedroom, a desk to work at, will work for us for the next six months. The kids will have their own play space here. And then we still have this area out here is no different. When guests come to the studio, I can lock the door of the studio in the editing room. So if they have kids, they don't get in there and you know tangle up in the wires but they still have plenty of living room, kitchenette, and bathroom space for you know taking a couple day vacation to the hills of Pennsylvania. Let's see the final plan. Option C is very different because it doesn't have any studio space. We would use option C not so much for the studio idea, but maybe an Airbnb to create a little extra income doing the Airbnb thing. It's not something we really want to do right away, but it's always a good option to have. If we don't have to do Airbnb, we're not going to, but if we need the extra income and people want to come visit a farm and stay on a farm, it's a good option to be able to just, with the flick of a switch, turn on. Much bigger kitchen and living room area, smaller bedroom and bathroom with, the, with this version, but that's because it's meant to be a guest house where people would spend a lot of time in and uh, enjoy being there the whole time. Let's take the walk through. You'll notice with this one, we go right into the kitchen. This time the eat at island is not an island, it's the counter in the back, but it does have a cooktop on the island there for filming cooking videos if we were to do that. However, with this plan, we probably wouldn't be filming in here because there'd be no equipment to film with. Uh, eat at countertop, then we have a nice large living room area, TV on the wall, plenty of room to stretch out and relax if this is your guest space. And you don't need to worry about flipping out the mattress because you have a bedroom in the back here with a mattress, closet, and of course, a long, narrow bathroom, but we do have a sink and a toilet and a bath. Three options, A, B, and C. Remember what we need it for. For the next six months, my family of six people have to live in it. But as soon as that's done, I would like to have a studio space, one that I can have clients over to, they can help themselves to coffee, some snacks, relax, on the couch, watch the video project that I've been working on, and of course, on the video production side, have plenty of room to work, nice big garage door to bring anything in. We also want a guest space for when our friends who live in Connecticut come to visit us, which we hope they do. Friends from Connecticut, when you're watching this, we really do want you to visit. This is part of why we're doing this, is uh, to make sure you have a place to stay. We'll miss you very dearly, and we'd like to have a nice, comfortable spot for you. So those are the goals we have for the space. What do you think? Do you have experience with tiny living? Do you have experience with putting in a garage apartment, workspaces? We wanna hear your opinions. How often do people say, please give me your opinion? Comments below. Let us have it. Tell us what you think is the best design. We'd love to hear your opinions. Make sure tomorrow you don't miss our video because we're gonna announce which of these plans we've picked. Things are going very quickly here. We wanna make sure this space is ready for us when we move in two months. And so we gotta decide quickly. If you wanna make sure you don't miss that video, join our email list. Every Friday I send everybody on the email list all our videos so you don't miss out. And if you wanna try Floor Planner, I'll have a link below. Totally free, great software. It was very easy to learn. I've only been using it for a few days, but it worked great. If you like what we do here and you wanna help support us, help keep producing Homesteady, all you have to do is when you do Amazon shopping, type in amsteady.com first and it will forward you to Amazon. We'll get an affiliate bonus, but it doesn't cost you a penny extra. You help us keep making our videos. Thanks for watching and we will announce tomorrow 
Whether it's A, B, or C, you'll find out what my favorite was and which one we're going with.